oh gosh, Princess and the Pea style stuff here. <laughs> That's not gonna work. Today we're talking about five of the most popular and best sleeping pads, in my opinion, out there on the market for backpacking. We're gonna talk about one by one, the Rapide SL from Big Agnes, the Nemo Tensor, this is the Alpine version, the Nemo Quasar 3D pad. <laughs> this is fun, I like this. The Sea to Summit Etherlight XT, and last but not least, wow, that's bright. <laughs> the NeoWare X Lite from Thermarest. Now, the NeoWare X Lite is arguably the most popular sleeping pad on the market, and for good reason. It's very lightweight, it's under a pound in weight, and it has a high R value to it. So, you get a great weight to warmth ratio out of this pad, but it does have downsides. It's not the thickest pad, it's about two and a half inches thick. After over a decade of this pad being on the market, it still has the one major flaw to it, and that is, it is probably the noisiest pad. <laughs> Easily the noisiest pad on the market. Now, if I am not moving around and anything, then sure, we're good to go. However, I don't think I'll ever get over the chip bag aspect to this pad. Maybe they could figure out a way to make it less noisy, but but for now, being able to get this in a 25 inch wide makes it a way more comfortable sleeping experience for me. The next pad I wanna talk about is a fan favorite and what I deemed as the king of sleeping pads last year. This is the Sea to Summit Etherlite XT. This is arguably, for me, the most comfortable pad that I've ever slept on. There are aspects to it that make it not as awesome and it can be a little noisy. Um, it's got kind of a more plasticky type of feel with the fabric that's used on it, but I really enjoy this pad. Now I've got the regular wide version. The quilted system for the baffles on here creates a really nice like cradling effect and makes it feel like you're sleeping on your bed at home. Versus the horizontal baffles that you have here on the x Lite, this is my least favorite style of baffle system. It's just not quite as comfortable for me than you get with these uh, quilted type of pads. You can't complain about how good the Etherlite XT is as an insulated pad. Now this uses a, a different type of insulation in it. It's not just that mylar like metallized film on the inside. You do have a little bit of like synthetic insulation in here, but it's fantastic. Love the Etherlite XT. So the next pad to talk about is the heaviest pad that we'll talk about here today of these five pads, and that is the Nemo Quasar. However, this is also an incredibly comfortable sleeping pad. The reason that I enjoy this pad so much is simply in the design aspects that create a really good sleep experience. Now, you're probably saying to yourself, Devin, <laughs> there are horizontal baffles on this pad. You said, with the x Lite, that that is the least enjoyable part of the pad for you. Well, yes. However, instead of the like straight across horizontal baffles, you have more of a like shape to these and they're not as small. So you get a little bit better of a cradling with this particular baffle system. And the way that the pad is designed is it does actually scoop a little bit. So there are 3D aspects to the design of this, given the name, Quasar 3D, that allow it to cradle the body more and handle your movement and just supporting your body a lot better than kind of like the two by four <laughs> size uh, baffles that you have on the x light. So you are taller at the head end than you are at the foot end. That helps keep your pillow in place, but also provides the most support through the heaviest part of your body. Your feet don't need a lot of support, but you still get the insulation value that you need out of the pad. And I love laying on this thing, just so comfortable. Just a very, very happy sleeping pad. Already just laying on this in, as opposed to the x Lite, way more supportive, way more comfortable. The baffles really do like cradle your body and 
it feels like your bed at home. You don't feel so much of the baffles like pushing against you the way that you do with the X-Lite, but this is, this is nice. Quasar is a fantastic option for really good quality sleep in the backcountry. Now, speaking of backcountry, today's video is sponsored by backcountry.com. Finding a sleeping pad and being able to compare all the different types of sleeping pads out there on the market can be overwhelming. And using backcountry as a resource to find a sleeping pad for your backpacking is actually quite easy. The gear heads with backcountry are an amazing resource to be able to help you find exactly what you need. There's not many other websites out there where you can get on and have access to somebody to give you answers to your questions in real time and say, hey, here's my budget, here's what I'm looking for, I'm a side sleeper, what do you recommend for a sleeping pad as an option? They will provide you with great resources to be able to make the right decision for your backpacking needs. So thank you Backcountry for sponsoring today's video. Let's move on to the next sleeping pad. Now the next pad that we're talking about is a newcomer to the market and that is the Rapide SL from Big Agnes. It's a higher R value pad at over four R value and that provides just great insulation in a really lightweight package. Now this is a 20 inch wide pad at 72 inches in length, but the design of this and what I really like from what Big Agnes has put together is the side baffles of this pad are higher than they are in the center. So you're four and a quarter inches on the side of the pad here, and then you're three and three quarter inches on the inside of the pad. Now you can see elbows want to fall off and this is not ideal, honestly, for me in the aspect of the most comfortable sleeping experience possible. Let me explain why a 20 inch wide pad can be a benefit. And that has to do with uh, just being in smaller shelters and smaller spaces, or if you are sharing a tent with somebody where a 25 inch wide pad just will not work. And that is a real thing. Having a 20 inch wide pad is a good option. And this is still super comfortable, very supportive. I like the, again, quilted style baffles here. And the idea of having your outside baffle a little bit taller than the inside does follow the idea of the Quasar here, where you've got wider at the, at the sides and then it's kind of like scooped and molded on the inside. What it does, it just creates a better sleeping experience. It's more comfortable, especially in a side sleeping aspect. You've got a lot more support for a pad like this than you do with the X-Lite. Man, I keep dogging on the X-Lite, but I actually do really like this pad. But the, the design aspects to sleeping pads over something that has had the same design for over a decade really provides a great sleeping experience. So the Rapide SL from Big Agnes as a solid, good, lightweight option with a high R value. Now the last pad that I wanna talk about is a pad that I have loved over the last five or so years and that is the Nemo Tensor line of pads. This happens to be the Alpine version. This is about three inches thick, so it's not quite as uh, intense as, whoa, the Quasar in thickness, so you can see that, uh, but it also is very lightweight. But this is a very lightweight, small package for this regular mummy size. And we'll lay down on this one as well because I do love the comfort aspect. Now the Tensor Alpine is a four plus R value and the regular Tensor is just over three or under four for your R value. So you're nice and insulated down to freezing temperatures, gonna keep you good and comfortable. But no, it's not like the thickest pad of all of them but it is incredibly comfortable and I love this about the Tensor. That with the space frame baffle system that again is that quilted type of style, you get something that is very supportive in not the thickest pad on the market. And I think sometimes with these quilted pads, you do have to increase the uh, size and the depth of the pad to be able to provide enough support 
so that you get the best sleeping experience possible. And somehow with these space frame baffles, you've been able to reduce the size of the pad in height, but still provide a ton of support. So I never have to worry about side sleeping and my hips and stuff hitting the ground with this pad being only uh, three inches thick. But I love the comfort of this pad and that it is so lightweight and compact. It's very similar to the Thermarest NeoWare X-Lite. And it doesn't have the crazy sound aspect that you get from the X-Lite as well as the Etherlite XT. This pad, depending on what tent floor <laughs> you are laying on, this will be super noisy. And I don't get that from either of the Nemo pads or the Rapide SL or other big Agnes pads that are made out of that material. So now you might be wondering which of these pads do I deem as the best or my favorite and it really comes down to two different aspects, comfort versus weight. If I am looking for strictly comfort in my backpacking sleeping opportunities, then the Quasar 3D and the Etherlite XT, these two pads right here, hands down the most comfortable sleeping pads I have ever slept on, but are they the lightest on the market? No, so there is that compromise of over two pounds for this regular wide Quasar 3D pad. And uh, this pad also not being the lightest, but very, very comfortable to sleep on. And it's a great lightweight option that I think, yeah, it's probably the most comfortable lightweight sleeping pad on the market. Lots of different options, but I thought I'd give you guys a quick comparison of the different options here that are the most popular, what I think are the best sleeping pads on the market. So thanks so much for watching today, guys. If you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hope you have an awesome day. Catch you on the next one. See you later.